Before we continue reading, we must review the questions that we need to answer after reading. Number eight, how did the colonies affect trade and industry in the Greek world? Number nine, why were coins invented? Number 10, what were the rights and responsibilities of Greek citizens? The check for understanding boxes at the bottom. List three ways Greek city-states created the idea of citizenship. How did loyalty to the city-states divide Greece? In the 700 BC, the Greeks started to make coins from metals to make trading easier. A coin is small and can be traded for many different types of goods. This makes it convenient to carry and use. Trade increased and made the Greek colonies wealthier. The Greek city-state. The polis, or Greek city-state, was the basic political unit in early Greece. At the center of each polis was a fort built on a hilltop. This fort was called an Acropolis. The open area outside the Acropolis was called the Agora. This space was used as a marketplace. People gathered in the Agora and debated issues, passed laws, and chose officials. Each polis was governed by its own citizens. The Greeks developed the modern idea of citizenship. In early Greece, only males who had been born in the polis and owned land were citizens. They had the right to vote, hold public office, and defend themselves in court. Their responsibilities included serving in government and fighting to defend their polis. Women and children, however, had no political rights. Citizens fought to defend their city-state. These citizen soldiers were called hoplites. They fought on foot. Each was armed with a round shield, a short sword, and a spear. When fighting, the hoplites would march shoulder to shoulder into battle. This formation was called a phalanx. The polis gave Greek citizens a sense of belonging. However, strong loyalty to their individual city-states also divided Greece. This lack of unity weakened Greece and made it easier for outsiders to conquer Greece.